people often say to me, look, I, I couldn't possibly live underground. And then you bring them into the property and they have a very different reaction to it. What's great about this house is there's numerous elements. It's very strong from an eco perspective. It's highly private. It's really secure. Um, you have a very unusual scenario where you have your house and you still have your garden because you haven't filled it with the house. But then what you have is something that's extremely opulent, that's finished to the standard of a five-star hotel. And so overall, the reaction we get is, wow, I'd love to live here. This is a fully subterranean property that is built in the grounds of Limehurst, which is this building here. We access this house through the gated entrance onto the car lift, which lowers you down into the property and then you drive in, or we can enter on foot through the pedestrian gates. We couldn't build anything on the surface because we're in a conservation area, so anything that took away from the view of the main house. So it became clear that the only way we could develop something here was to do something that didn't take away the view of the main house. Um, hence the idea, the crazy idea of, of subterranean. So this is the, the main open plan living component of, uh, of Purdue. Um, as you can see, it's, it's one complete lateral space. Uh, it's about 2,000 square feet of, of living area. And it comprises the elements that you'd have in most houses. So uh, we've got over on this side, we've got the uh, kitchen, uh, dining, lounge and TV viewing area. And there may be a couple of elements that you wouldn't have in every house, such as a nice fancy bar and a DJ booth. The first thing that anyone asks us about this property is what's the natural light like? And the expectation is that it, that it won't be good. And as you can see, that's uh, the opposite is, is very much the case. There's probably two important elements to that. One is the very high ceiling height. And then we also have numerous, very large natural light sources. So just standing here, we've got a, a two and a half meter circular central um, roof light. And we've got another similar size square one just behind me and multiple other sources through the house. And so, well, if you compare this to an average house, there's way more glazing in it, way more. We're here in Manchester today raining hard outside this is you know very very poor quality light and still you feel like you're um, you're properly illuminated without the need for for all the artificial i think what i love most about the house is how comfortable it feels the ideas that people have about a subterranean house not being an environment that you'd want to spend time in if you look around this space, everything is, is soft and lush and designed really to wrap around you, make you comfortable, cozy and, and at home. That was the mission. And I think we've very much achieved that. 